played several sports and, and played several sports well. You know, you, you typically think about uh, three seasons, so three sports. Well, well Doug played like five. Um, you know, between you know, football and wrestling, you know, he occasionally jumped in there for indoor track. He ran outdoor track. He started out playing baseball, I guess, his freshman or sophomore year. But he, he was just, he was just an, an, an ultimate athlete. He's excelled in three different sports. You don't see that as much anymore in today's youth. And Doug was one of those, you know, guys that w really excelled in football, wrestling, and in track. He could do it all on the track. You know, Doug ran in relay. Doug pole vaulted, long jump. You know, he, he was our guard, Jim Thorpe. He would volunteer to, to do anything, everything. He was never afraid to take that challenge. Doug was a running back. You know, he was a running back. He was a defensive back. You know, that, that's what he played growing up. And, you know, when we got to Malvern, there were a number of us that ran, played running back and so forth, but there was a void at quarterback. So as early as freshman year, you know, Doug took that on. He said, I'll, I'll step in and I'll fill that role. So we filled that role, uh, filled that role well. Um, the nice thing about our system that we, that we ran is that, that he could do a lot of running still while quarterbacking the team. Our senior year, Doug didn't come off the field. There were games where Doug literally played every single play of the game. He just, he's like the Energizer Bunny. He just kept going and kept going. You know, he's, he's, calling, he's calling football plays. He's, he's long snapping. He's on the return team. He's on the kickoff team. He beat every team that year by double digits, every team. And we played tough teams. We played Valley Forge, uh, and it was, it was a postgraduate team. We played Downingtown. We played uh, Westchester Henderson. We played a team from Baltimore. Uh, and Doug led us in a way where not one of those teams were really that close to beating us. He was the quarterback of a great team. And I really think without Doug being in that position, because he could also run the ball and throw the ball, that team would not have been as good without Doug. Without a doubt, we would never have ended up where we ended up if he wasn't on our team. He was, I mean, a natural athlete. So for a wrestler, I mean, he had all the attributes of being a good wrestler, just athletic, smart, um, talented. Doug was a very intense wrestler. I, I think that you know, most people probably know him most for his, his accomplishments on a wrestling mat. He wrestled at, at prep states and prep nationals and, and interact championships, and he wrestled in, in club teams. So he was all in. They won the interact title for the first time ever in Malvern's history, um, where they defeated Harvard School here on a Friday night, and it was just jam-packed in the gym for that wrestling match. And uh, we didn't just beat Harvard School. We, we literally obliterated Harper School that night. He was a natural born leader. Like he, he just had something about him that you knew that he was a leader on the mat, off the mat, you know, outside of wrestling, just like in life itself. No person better deserving than you uh, and your love for Malvern and, and your, your commitment to, to, to excellence and everything. Sports, your work, your family, your friends. Um, and we just, just want to you know, thank you for everything you've done for Malvern, everything you continue to do. Congratulations on, on entering the hall.